However, instead of enjoying their time together, Ekene became increasingly concerned as Natasha continued to document almost every moment of their trip for social media. Feeling overwhelmed and disheartened, Ekene realized that his fears about Natasha's behavior were coming true. He couldn't ignore the fact that Natasha seemed more interested in her online presence than in their relationship. Once upon a time, in Enugu State, Nigeria, there lived a tall, handsome man named Ekene. He had just graduated from the University of Benin and moved to Lagos in search of a job after his National Youth Service Corps, NYSC. Ekene was hardworking and soon landed a good paying job. He loved his work and was loved by his colleagues in return. But there was one thing bothering him. His mother, Ngozi, kept pestering him to get married and give her grandchildren. Every day, Ngozi would call Ekene, urging him to find a wife. She would say, Ekene, my son, when will you bring a wife home? I want to carry my grandchildren before I leave this world. Ekene would always smile and promise that he would get married soon, even though deep down, he wasn't ready for it. One evening, Ekene met his friend Michael at a lounge after work. As they chat over drinks, Ekene shared his worries with Michael. Michael, who was already married, understood Ekene's predicament and advised him to be patient. Don't worry, Ekene, Michael said. You will find the right person soon. Just give it time. Michael then teased Ekene about marrying a colleague who was known for her aggressive nature. But Ekene quickly dismissed the idea, jokingly saying, God forbid, unless you want me dead, Michael. That night, as Ekene scrolled through Instagram, he came across a beautiful girl named Natasha. She had a stunning Instagram page filled with her pictures and videos. And Ekene was intrigued. He noticed that Natasha was a doctor because he saw that on her Instagram bio. And he became determined to learn more about her. Ekene followed Natasha and started liking most of her posts. Natasha who was surprised by the sudden flood of notifications, sent Ekene a message asking if he was trying to bump her Instagram account. With a smile, Ekene replied, Will you sue me for liking such a beautiful girl like you? Natasha, amused by his response, jokingly replied, If you like me that much, let's get married. Their conversation continued late into the night, with Ekene forgetting about his job the next day. Eventually, they bid each other good night, both smiling as they drifted off to sleep. Ekene couldn't shake off the feeling of happiness as he wondered if Natasha was real. He fell asleep with a smile on his face, excited to see where this new connection would lead. The next morning, Ekene woke up feeling excited to see a message from Natasha on his phone. But to his surprise, when he checked, there was no message from her. He quickly plugged his phone to charge, went to take his bath, and got ready for work. As he was about to leave, he turned on his phone and saw a message from Natasha on Instagram. She greeted him asking if he had a good night's rest and teasing him for not asking for her phone number. Ekene smiled at her message and quickly replied with his number, asking her to call him. He then went into his car and drove off to work, eagerly waiting for Natasha's call. Meanwhile, Natasha was in her room, smiling at Ekene's response. She dropped her phone on her bed and went to freshen up for the day. Throughout the day, 
Ekene kept checking his phone, hoping to hear from Natasha, but she never called or texted him. This made him worry, but he decided to be patient, thinking that maybe Natasha was busy with work. After work, Ekene met up with his friend Michael at a lounge, and he told him about Natasha. Michael warned him to be careful with online relationships, suggesting that some people might not be who they claim to be. Despite Michael's warning, Ekene couldn't shake off his feelings for Natasha. When Ekene got home that night, he tried to chat with Natasha on Instagram again, but she still hadn't replied his previous messages. Feeling disappointed, he put his phone down and went to freshen up before retiring for the day. As Ekene lay in bed, he couldn't help but wonder why Natasha hadn't responded to his messages. Was she really busy or was there something else going on? Days turned into weeks and Ekene found himself eagerly awaiting Natasha's messages and calls. But to his dismay, Natasha never replied his messages or even called him back. Worried and confused, Ekene decided to take matters into his own hands and try calling Natasha on Instagram. To his relief, Natasha picked up the call, her voice soothing to his ears. Ekene couldn't help but feel happy to finally hear from her. He asked her why she hadn't responded to his messages and Natasha simply laughed, saying she doesn't call strangers. This puzzled Ekene, as he was certain Natasha had asked for his number. However, Natasha insisted that she had only suggested he should ask for her number instead. Despite the misunderstanding, Ekene and Natasha continued talking, and Natasha eventually gave him her number. Ekene called her immediately to confirm it was indeed her number, and they began talking more frequently. As they got to know each other better, Ekene and Natasha realized they lived in the same area of Lagos. Excited by the prospect of meeting in person, they decided to plan a dinner date at Ekene's house. When Natasha arrived at Ekene's house, he was shocked by her beauty. She looked even more stunning in person than she did in her pictures. They embraced each other warmly and Natasha complimented Ekene on his house and his looks, bringing smiles to both their faces. They settled down to talk over drinks, and Ekene suggested they prepare dinner together in the kitchen. However, Natasha's mood suddenly changed at the mention of cooking. She insisted they order food instead, refusing to lift a finger to help in the kitchen. Feeling disappointed but wanting to make the best of the situation, Ekene went ahead to prepare dinner alone while Natasha watched and documented everything on social media. She went live on TikTok, laughing and chatting with her followers. Why Ekene felt increasingly uncomfortable with the situation. Despite his growing unease, Ekene tried to maintain his composure and engage with Natasha as best as he could. But the evening passed by quickly, with Natasha being more focused on her social media presence than on getting to know Ekene. As the clock struck 8 p.m., Ekene gently reminded Natasha that it was time for her to leave. She bid him goodbye and left without much conversation or connection between them. Ekene couldn't believe what had just happened. Throughout the night, Ekene couldn't shake off the feeling of disappointment and confusion. He wondered if Natasha was really the person he thought she was. They hadn't had the chance to talk or connect on a deeper level, and he couldn't help but question whether there was any future for them. Despite his doubt, Ekene decided to give Natasha another chance. He hoped that maybe she was just nervous or having a bad day and that their next meeting 
would be better. Little did he know, this decision would lead him down a path filled with even more surprises and revelations about Natasha's true nature. Ekene and Natasha continued talking and soon decided to go on a second date, this time at a nice restaurant. Ekene hoped that things would be different this time, that they would be able to connect on a deeper level and enjoy each other's company without any distractions. The day of the date arrived and Ekene was the first to arrive at the restaurant. He waited anxiously for Natasha, his heart beating with anticipation. After what felt like an eternity, Natasha finally arrived, looking stunning in a beautiful dress and flashing a bright smile. She apologized for being late and Ekene assured her that it was fine. They exchanged pleasantries, hugged and took their seats at the table. The waiter brought the menu and Ekene asked Natasha to place her order. Natasha glanced through the menu briefly before confidently telling the waiter to bring the most expensive dishes and drinks. Ekene watched silently as Natasha made her extravagant request feeling a sense of unease creeping over him. Soon, Natasha took out her phone and asked Ekene to take her pictures. He felt awkward about the situation, but reluctantly complied with her request. As they waited for their food to arrive, Natasha started documenting their date on social media, going live on TikTok and showing off the expensive dishes and drinks on the table. She laughed and chatted with her followers, completely forgetting that she was there with Ekene. Feeling disappointed and frustrated, Ekene couldn't bear to stay any longer. He stood up, paid for the dishes and left the restaurant without saying a word to Natasha. Natasha didn't even notice that Ekene had left, too engrossed in her social media antics. After some time, Natasha ended her life on TikTok and realized that Ekene was gone. She felt a pang of guilt and worry, realizing that she had been too caught up in her own world to notice his discomfort. She tried calling Ekene, but he didn't pick up. Feeling concerned, Natasha decided to visit Ekene at his house the next day. As Ekene opened the door and saw Natasha standing there, he felt a mix of emotions, anger, frustration, but also a glimmer of hope. Natasha asked why Ekene had left her alone at the restaurant and why he hadn't been picking up her calls. Unable to contain his emotion any longer, Ekene lashed out at Natasha, telling her how her behavior had disappointed him and how he wanted something serious, not just games. Tears welled up in Natasha's eyes. As she listened to Ekene's words, she realized that she had hurt him deeply with her actions and vowed to change. She apologized sincerely, promising to be better and to prioritize their relationship. Moved by Natasha's sincerity, Ekene accepted her apology and they reconciled. That night, Natasha passed the night at Ekene's house, putting her phone aside and focusing on spending quality time with him. But even as they cuddled up together, Ekene couldn't shake off the feeling that there were still some challenges ahead. He noticed that Natasha seemed to dislike house chores, but he hoped that with time, she would come around and they could build a happy future together. Natasha and Ekene were deeply in love, but... Natasha's obsession with TikTok live videos and her reluctance to contribute to household chores continued to strain their relationship. Despite Ekene's patience and hope for change, Natasha's behavior remained unchanged. Ekene often sought advice from his friend Michael, who encouraged him to communicate openly with Natasha and give her a chance to change. However, Ekene's mother Ngozi 
added to the pressure by persistently urging him to propose to Natasha. Ekene was stunned between his love for Natasha and his concerns about her behavior. He hesitated to propose to a woman who seemed more focused on social media fame than on building a life together. Eventually, under the pressure from his mother and the desire to move forward with his life, Ekene decided to propose to Natasha. To his relief, Natasha accepted eagerly and they began planning their wedding. The wedding day arrived and it was a grand celebration attended by both families and friends. However, amidst the joyous occasion, Mrs. Kayode, Natasha's mother, took Ekene and Natasha aside for a private conversation. Mrs. Kayode expressed her hopes that Natasha would prioritize her role as a wife and focus on building a happy home with Ekene. Natasha nodded in agreement, but Ekene couldn't shake off his worries about whether Natasha would truly change her ways. After the wedding festivities, Ekene and Natasha embarked on their honeymoon. However, instead of enjoying their time together, Ekene became increasingly concerned as Natasha continued to document almost every moment of their trip for social media. Feeling overwhelmed and disheartened, Ekene realized that his fears about Natasha's behavior were coming true. He couldn't ignore the fact that Natasha seemed more interested in her online presence than in their relationship. As the honeymoon progressed, Ekene's sadness grew and he made the difficult decision to call their trip short and return home. Natasha was disappointed but agreed to leave the honeymoon destination earlier than planned. Back home, Natasha's mood was somber, reflecting on the abrupt end to their honeymoon. Ekene couldn't shake off the feeling that he had made a mistake by marrying Natasha. He wondered if he could ever be able to find happiness in their relationship. Despite his doubts, Ekene remained hopeful that Natasha would change for the better. He hoped that with time and patience, they could overcome their differences and build a strong and loving marriage. As they stunned into weeks and weeks into months, Ekene found himself shouldering all the responsibilities at home while Natasha remained fixated on her TikTok live streams. Despite his efforts, to encourage Natasha to take on her wifey duties. She showed no interest and often picked fights with Ekene, blaming him for knowing about her habit before they got married. Every day, when Ekene returned home from work, he would find Natasha engrossed in her phone, live streaming to her followers while neglecting her responsibilities. He would then take on the task of cooking, cleaning and looking after their home, feeling the weight of the burden on his shoulders. Months passed, and to Ekene's surprise and sadness, Natasha became pregnant. He worried about her ability to handle motherhood, knowing she wasn't ready to change her habits. Even during her prenatal appointment, Natasha would miss them if Ekene didn't insist on taking her. When their daughter Maya was born, Ekene was overjoyed, but his happiness was tinged with concern for Maya's well-being. Natasha showed little interest in caring for their daughter, leaving Ekene's mother Ngozi to take on the role of primary caregiver during her visit for Omogo. Ngozi often complained about Natasha's neglect of Maya, but Natasha remained indifferent more focused on her social media presence than on her child. Ekene tried to encourage Natasha to take on her responsibilities as a mother, but his pleas fell on deaf ears. Despite his frustration, Ekene refused to hire a nanny or seek outside help. Believing that Natasha needed to step up and take care of her daughter. However, Natasha's behavior remained unchanged, 
leaving Ekene to juggle the responsibilities of work and child care on his own. Sometimes, Ekene would come home from work to find baby Maya crying and hungry, neglected by her own mother. He would quickly attend to her needs, feeding her, batting her, and putting her to sleep, all while Natasha remained oblivious to her daughter's distress. Ekene even resorted to taking baby Maya to work with him at times, unwilling to leave her alone with Natasha's neglect. Despite his efforts to balance work and childcare, Ekene couldn't shake off the feeling of disappointment and sadness at Natasha's inability to prioritize their daughter's well-being. As the days passed, Ekene wondered how long he could continue to bear the burden of their dysfunctional marriage on his own. He hoped that someday, Natasha would realize the importance of being a responsible wife and mother. But for now, he could only focus on providing the love and care that baby Maya deserved. As months went by, Natasha's careless lifestyle only wasn't. She continued to neglect her responsibility as a wife and mother, spending Ekenes hard-earned money and constantly indulging in her social media addiction. Meanwhile, baby Maya was growing. But her needs were often overlooked by her mother. One fateful day, when Maya was around eight months old, she became very hungry and started crying uncontrollably. Natasha, oblivious to her daughter's cries, was too absorbed in her phone to notice the distress. Desperate for relief, baby Maya crawled to the kitchen unaware of the danger lurking in the form of a bucket of hot water that Natasha had carelessly left on the floor. In her attempt to stand, Maya accidentally knocked over the bucket, causing scalding hot water to spill onto her tiny body. Maya's cries of pain filled the air, but Natasha remained oblivious, still engrossed in her phone. It was only when Ekene returned home from work and heard Maya's cries that he rushed to her side, horrified to see his daughter in such agony. Without hesitation, Ekene scooped up Maya and rushed her to the hospital, his heart pounding with fear and worry. Natasha, still unaware of the situation, continued her online activities, oblivious to the tragedy unfolding in her own home. At the hospital, Maya was admitted for treatment, but despite the doctor's best efforts, she succumbed to her injuries and passed away. The news shattered Ekene's world, leaving him consumed with grief and anger. Filled with a sense of profound loss and betrayal, Ekene returned home that day with a heavy heart, his mind reeling with pain and anguish. As he entered the house, he was met with the sight of Natasha, still glued to her phone, unaware of the devastation she had caused. Unable to contain his rage any longer, Ekene seized Natasha's phone and hauled it to the ground, shattering it into pieces. Natasha, startled by Ekene's actions, demanded to know why he had destroyed her phone. With tears streaming down his face, Ekene unleashed his pent-up emotions, calling Natasha names and accusing her of being responsible for their daughter's death. Natasha's eyes widened in shock as she struggled to comprehend the magnitude of Ekene's words. Frantic with grief and guilt, Natasha began searching for baby Maya, calling out for her name in desperation. But Ekene, his heart heavy with sorrow, looked at Natasha with a mixture of sadness and resignation, realizing that their marriage was irreparably broken. In a voice choked with emotion, Ekene handed Natasha a letter of divorce, his decision to end their marriage final and irreversible. Despite Natasha's tearful pleas and apologies, Ekene remained resolute his trust and love shattered by the events that had unfolded. As Natasha fell to her knees, overcome with grief and remorse, 
Echinesa had ached with pain for the loss of their daughter and the shattered dreams of their family. With a heavy heart, he walked away, leaving behind the ruins of a marriage that had once held so much promise. Filled with regret and sorrow, Natasha watched as her marriage crumbled before her eyes. Both her mother and Ekene's mother arrived at the house. Their faces etched with disappointment and anger at Natasha's neglect of her daughter. They couldn't hide their disdain for Natasha, expressing their sympathy for Ekene and thanking Natasha for finally revealing her true colors. Despite Natasha's tearful pleas for forgiveness, both mothers stood firm in their support of Ekene's decision to end the marriage. Days passed and Natasha found herself unable to change Ekene's mind. She realized that she had lost the love and trust of the man she had once vowed to spend her life with. With a heavy heart, Natasha finally relented and signed the divorce papers, accepting that her marriage was over. As Natasha packed her belongings and prepared to leave Ekene's house for good, she couldn't shake off the feeling of sadness and regret that filled her heart. She knew that she had made a grave mistake, one that had cost her the love of her husband and the life of her daughter. Ekene, on the other hand, felt a sense of relief as Natasha left his life. Though he mourned the loss of baby Maya, he knew that staying with Natasha would only bring more pain and heartache. He resolved to focus on rebuilding his life and finding happiness once again. Weeks passed and Natasha found herself lost and alone, filled with remorse for her actions. She couldn't bear the thought of never seeing Ekene again, of never being able to make amends for her mistakes. Driven by desperation, Natasha returned to Ekene's house. Her heart heavy with regret. She fell to her knees before him, begging for another chance. But Ekene remained unmoved by her pleas. With a mixture of anger and sadness, Ekene rejected Natasha's pleas, reminding her of all the ways she had failed as a mother and a wife. He accused her of being worthless, of bringing nothing but pain and suffering into their lives. In tears, Natasha realized the extent of her mistakes and the damage she had caused. With a heavy heart, she stood up and left Ekene's house. Her hopes of reconciliation shattered. Returning to her mother's house, Natasha found solace in her mother's arms, seeking forgiveness and redemption. Mrs. Coyote, though disappointed in her daughter's actions, welcomed her back with open arms, determined to help her change for the better. With her mother's support, Natasha embarked on a journey of self-improvement. She humbled herself and asked her mother to teach her how to cook and perform household chores, determined to become a better person. As she learned, Natasha discovered a newfound sense of purpose and ambition. She decided to pursue her dreams of becoming a medical doctor, enrolling in a certification program and dedicating herself to her studies. With hard work and determination, Natasha finally achieved her goal becoming a certified medical doctor. She had transformed herself from a careless and neglectful wife into a capable and successful woman, ready to make amends for her past mistakes and embrace a brighter future. As Natasha looked back on her journey, she realized that sometimes it takes loss and hardship to truly appreciate the value of love and family. And though she could never undo the pain she had caused, she vowed to live her life with purpose and integrity, striving to make amends for the mistakes of her past. Time continued to pass and Natasha remained determined to make amends for her past mistakes. With the support of her mother, Mrs. Coyote, she decided to seek forgiveness for McKinney and rebuild their relationship. Accompanied by her mother, Natasha went to Ekene's house her heart heavy with remorse. When Ekene welcomed them with a smile, Natasha felt a glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, 
she could make things right. After exchanging pleasantries, Natasha humbled herself before Ekene once again, apologizing for the pain she had caused him in the past. She assured him that she was a changed person, ready to make amends and earn his forgiveness, even if he chose not to take her back. Moved by Natasha's sincerity and remorse, Ekene's eyes filled with tears. He stood up and helped Natasha to her feet, expressing his pride in the woman she had become. He told her that he had forgiven her long ago and his heart was open to giving their love another chance. Natasha smiled through her tears, grateful for Ekene's forgiveness. After a heartfelt conversation, Natasha and her mother left Ekene's house, their hearts lighter with the hope of a brighter future. As the days turned into weeks, Ekene couldn't shake off the lingering feelings of love he still harbored for Natasha. One night, unable to resist the longing in his heart, he picked up his phone and dialed Natasha's number. They spoke for hours, pouring out their hearts and laying bare their deepest emotions. In their conversation, they both realized that despite the pain of their past, their love for each other had never truly faded. Determined to give their love a second chance, Natasha arrived at Ekene's house one day. To Ekene's surprise and delight, she entered the kitchen and cooked a delicious meal, a gesture of love and reconciliation that touched his heart deeply. As they sat down to eat together, Ekene and Natasha talked, sharing their hopes and dreams for the future. They both knew that this time, their love would be different, stronger and more resilient than ever before. Months passed, and Ekene and Natasha renewed their vows, pledging to love and cherish each other for the rest of their lives. Soon after, they were blessed with a set of twins, two beautiful girls who brought joy and laughter into their home. They named the twins Mira and Maya in honor of the daughter they had lost and the love that had brought them back together. With Tekene by her side, Natasha embraced motherhood with joy and determination, sharing her daughters with love and affection. As they watched their daughters grow, Ekene and Natasha's love only deepened, strengthened by trials they had overcome and the bond they shared. Natasha excelled in her career, supported by Ekene's unwavering love and encouragement. Together, they created a happy and loving family, filled with laughter and joy. Despite the challenges they faced, Ekene and Natasha knew that as long as they had each other, they could overcome anything. And so, with their hearts full of love and gratitude, Ekene, Natasha and their daughters live happily ever after, cherishing each moment together and embracing the beautiful journey of life that lay ahead. This story teaches us the importance of forgiveness second chances and the power of change it shows that people can make mistakes but with sincerity and effort they can learn from them and become better natasha's journey from neglectful wife and mother to a loving and responsible partner illustrates how positive change is possible when we acknowledge our fault and strive to do better similarly ekenes willingness to forgive and give Natasha another chance, demonstrates the power of love and compassion. In the end, the story reminds us that no matter how difficult the journey may be, redemption and happiness are attainable through humility, forgiveness, and genuine efforts to make amends. Thanks for watching this captivating story about Ekene and Natasha on African Stories. If you liked it and felt inspired with their journey, please show your support by clicking the like button, sharing with your friends, and leaving a comment below. To see more interesting stories and learn about different cultures, subscribe to African Stories. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a new story. Your support means a lot and helps us bring more stories to you. Until we meet again, stay connected, stay inspired 
and keep smiling.